What up, y'all? We are live from the official Playhouse Studios. I am Damo, never been a lame. Oh, and I'm your residential pretty motherfucker, aka Mr. King Lamar. This is Jay Willie, the podcast killer, aka Podcast Poppy. A.K.A. the Pop Father. This right here with the Wednesdays. You about to get some ghetto news mm. from your relationship gurus. <laughs> hold that there bow. Is. Hold that bow. There Listen. It is. There it is. What's going on, Brody? We got to talk about something that just happened. Uh-oh. We got to talk about some real shit. Uh-oh. Um, I'm tired I, of this I, shit. No, I, 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 I need y'all to get in your bag one time. I need I, I need to have real conversation with my brothers real quick. If, we can, right. if we can do that. Nigga, we can, but um, I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> Yo, we, we 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 lost we lost another one. Another one. We lost the soldier. That was dark. Um, we lost a young black brother. He's thirty. Thirty years old. Was he thirty? Thirty. Thirty. P and B Rock was a killed. No, he was killed in in Los Angeles mm. yesterday, and we got to talk about it. Okay. Um. He was in a, a, a Roscoe Chicken and Waffles restaurant okay. with his lady, and um, he was gunned down. He, uh, he was robbed. He didn't give up his jewelry or whatever the case may be, Right. and his life was taken from him. Now, I heard that, 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 that his, his girl had... Uh, what is it? Uh, did the she, location she, yeah, on where she, they was uh, at? She she was on Instagram. She 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 posted her meal and then tagged the location. The location, yeah. So it, it let yeah. whoever follows her know where they were at at that. She 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 dropped the low. She but, put the location. But so so yo, this is one really really like super duper diverse um, conversation, only because this situation specifically has so many moving variables that all equal to his demise. You feel me? And we don't know which variable it was that caused Ultimately. this thing. And this is why, to me, this is... We, we've, we've... The Young Dolph, the Nipsey, the Pop Smoke, all of those things, I feel like... XXX. We, yeah, we, it, it, I don't want to say it's easy to figure out, you know, what led to this. We're like, yo, okay, boom... Someone po- posted Paso's joint. They plotted. Came in late at night. He was in the shower. Got him. Boom. Yeah. Nipsey disrespect. Uh, said something to Buddy. He felt some type of way. He knew exactly what his he was. Double back. Double back. Came back. Niggas there thought that he'll be that bold. Mm-hmm. Threw his life away. Boom. Right. You know what I'm saying? But this one right here, when I saw what she posted, she just it just says Roscoe Chicken and Waffles. It doesn't say like Roscoe Chicken and Waffles on this avenue. Right. So. You know, you could type some shit in on IG and it'll bring up multiple options. Right. Yeah. I don't know which one she clicked up. When I looked up Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, it's like seven or eight. Yeah. You in, in LA, LA, it's everywhere. Mm-hmm. It's 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 probably more than it's that. like Chick Fil A or Cookout here. Like it's so, a lot of them. Mm-hmm. So we don't know. Yeah. Did she click the one that they were at? You feel Apparently, me? she. Well, from what I heard, she did. You know how you do the location and you tag where you are. Like they have that. For IG, like you can put, I'm at Olive Garden on 59th Street or whatever it is. You know mm. what I'm saying? You can do that. And then it's, you know, I mean, you know how social media, you can click. I understand, you know, I understand. You know, the shit that you done bought at the, you know, it's the whole social but media even, thing. But even if, what I'm understanding is. I'm not blaming her, by the but, way. And, and that's saying, what I hate that I, niggas is doing right now, bro. I, 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 I want to speak to that, but before we get there, because that's a valid point. Um, let, let's just let's just move through this with one solid thought, if we can. Let's just move I'm sorry, through it. I'm sorry. It's just really getting me in my no. Bag. It's it's crazy because it, it's fucked up. Yep. But um, before we get to the point of she being blamed and it's disgusting, because I feel like it is disgusting. Um, let's talk about the fact that I believe more times than not, women don't have to. They don't have to. Think of the repercussions of certain actions because we are men and we're supposed to handle situations, right? Um, let me dive deeper into that. What happens is... Um, Can you pull my IG? Yeah, I'm going to show you my last post. It's part of what we're talking about. Mine is what I just posted. With me, right? Um, Shows the list. I was... From young, I was always taught know your surroundings. When you go into a room, know the exits. Mm. Mind you, this is what I'm taught. 
I was taught not to sit with my back facing the door. Yep. Because you don't know what the fuck's going to happen. Don't yeah. sleep with your back I was taught you. that if you're walking outside, mm. you're on every car. Yeah. Yeah. Who pulling up? Who's walking alongside of you? Right. Who's walking too fast? Who may look suspicious? I was taught that. Yeah. So in my adult life, as I'm walking around, this is what I'm processing quickly. I don't know if that's bad or not, but that's just what I was taught. Right. Just to add to it, mm-hmm. um, when I walk into any establishment, I go to the bathroom. And it's not necessary to go to the bathroom. Really? But it's to walk around through the premises. Really? To see who's here. Especially any party, any club. Yeah, probably, um, or, or even restaurant. Mm-hmm. When I walk in, and we establish our base of where we're going to be at. Yeah. I walk around that motherfucker. I, I always, do walk yeah, around, but I, you see me yes, I, I have. But, I, but I didn't I, know that. I, I didn't go, know that. I go to the bathroom. But yeah, I'm going to the bathroom, but I'm trying to see. You got a case to join. What we're doing. I'm trying to see where are we going to go. Is there anyone? I, I'm not banging. I don't got no ops. But yeah. is there anyone that can cause harm to me and mine? It's, it's something that's embedded in us as men. And, so so let, me, let, me, let, me, let me go further. I just want to ask. Is okay. it also, I, I want to know the exits. I want to understand. That's, that's, like that's said, something I, that we that, naturally that, notice. Like, that's something that I, 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 would, I never went to the bathroom. I was taught that from young. Like, no, no, to I know was where too. the exits are. So that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm going to agree with you. I just never, like, I just don't. So when you say bathroom, I was like, bathroom. I never, in my head, I'm like, damn, that's probably my excuse. I just be like, I'm about to walk around. That's me. I, don't, I just don't have Just a, so you sub- subconsciously, you could figure out the lay of the land. But I, I do get what you're saying. Right. I, so I didn't even know why. I didn't even know why I did it, though. No, no but, I know why. I thought I. Let, let's fast forward. <laughs> let, let's, no, no, no. I, it was, yeah. So it was so innate that yeah. when I go somewhere, I walk around. Yeah. For the first 10 minutes of us stepping into a spot, when I was like 18, 19, I was, we used to throw team parties. Yeah. And I'll go to other parties. My people would be like, yo, every time Lamar, we go somewhere, Lamar disappears for the first 10 minutes. Well, I don't know why I disappeared. I, I went to walk around, see who I knew in the yeah. spot, who I didn't know, who probably we ran into before. Right. Because I'll be damned if I don't see it coming. And you get got. You feel yeah. me? So no, now, you're not wrong. Now, um... Just to progress the conversation, um, I don't feel more times than not that women have to do that. No, they don't. Right? I don't feel that. that that's that's our thing to do. They're not I, I think like right? we're, they're I not think, taught to do. They're not I, bred to do that. I think with women, it's according to who they with. No. Cool. So I, I, I give them that, I, but I will say more times than not, I don't think that's true. But I, I agree with what you said. Cool. Yeah. Right. So what a lot happens of times, is they with us. So, exactly. And they know. So what happens is. The whole world is killing Shorty right now for yeah. posting whatever she posted. Yeah. I'm not going to blame her for that because that's what women do. Yeah, they post right? the food where they at. Post they, the food. They, they post the selfies. I'm out with my man. Yeah, I'm yeah. Whatever. They're, 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 that's course. what they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What we happens that, is though. we're taught and we're bred to know your surroundings, right? Yeah. So that's that. Um, it's unfortunate. <laughs> my bad. I'm not laughing. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm laughing, but I'm... I'm I just want to say I'm laughing because I know right now we know where the exits are right now. Like yes. if some shit went down right yes. the fuck now, we know we can go. Bro, there's two bay doors <laughs> in the back right there. There's one that's right why, there. That's why I laughed. My bad. I laughed because I was like, yo, no, shit I, went down right the fuck now. I, I think I, it's like, well. I know exactly where the fucking <laughs> you know go. Where, okay, right? go ahead. I'm sorry. But, my bad. My bad. That's the only reason why I gave you. My bad. What happens, like, what happens is, <laughs> what happens is, <laughs> and once again, I'm not blaming Shorty because I don't know the situation. I don't know. I don't fucking know her. So I really don't care. Like, yeah. I, I, I'm just speaking from situations I've been in in my life, right? Um, I'm not a big public figure. I'm not no PNB rock. I'm not no celebrity what? type nigga. You out here, bro? I, I am out here, but I'm not <laughs> what, that, nigga? right? So I, I haven't had a situation of I'm in a spot and everybody know me. But I've been in places where I am known, and yeah. that's uneasy. So imagine being in a place when you're really famous and everybody knows you. It got to be uneasy. It scares me to a bit. Me, personally, I, I wouldn't want to be there. Yeah. Right? But what happens when you're in a relationship? Ooh. Sis want to be outside. You got to be there. So if he said, I don't want to go nowhere, but she said, I want to go get something to eat, guess what? You're going to get something you gonna, to eat. Yeah, you. And that's yeah. that. So I can see them going to a Roscoe Chicken and Waffles 
could sis want to get something to eat? And low key, Roscoe's. I know we all know the name. But it's a low key. It's like going to. It's to, a hood spot. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's like going fried. to Crown. It's bro. a Crown yeah, fried chicken. Like it's, it, in, in, in JJ's or Sharks. So, like it's not even a. I, you know, with a hood chicken I, spot, bro. That's it. What I want us to do be real quick, because I don't want. I want cause we could, I think we could be here for like two hours talking about this one thing. Mm-hmm. I just want us to not go in depth. We're going to go in depth, but I want us to list all the things that went wrong with the situation. And okay. Then we could break them down. Is that okay that's with fair, you? That's fair. That's fair. That's right, so one, we got Shorty posting their location. Yeah, gotcha. Um, do you I, I, do I, I, can, I can go I, two. I can go seven. I, I can go, go two. Um, no security. No security. Dame, you want to throw another one out there? Oh shit! I was. I didn't know. Uh, All right. So number three. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> when being um, when having all his jewelry on, shining, yeah. shining in an area where niggas is wolves. Yeah. I go four. Having a fancy car outside. Attracting uh, you, you looking like food now. Uh, Number five, you don't have no type of weapon on you. You really counting? Um, I, uh, six I would be the next six. <laughs> oh shit! Um, not okay. Now we get into the nitty gritty now. Okay. Um, I got you. Oh, go ahead. Six, not giving that shit up when niggas press you for it. <sighs> Good point. That's a tough one. That's a tough no, one. No, it, it, no, it, it, Are it, you crazy? No, wait, I tell you why it's a tough one. A I tell one. you why it's a tough one. Not everybody is of the sound mindset to say, you know what? If somebody press me, Yo. I gotta give my shit up. Not everybody's what's, in a mindset. You know what's gangster? Making it home. Gangsters. <laughs> making Make, it home. Yeah, That's it's making it home. Me. Make it home. Making it home. Make it home. But let's let's. But certain gangsters ain't gonna be like. Make it home. So I'm about to push it for them. What's gangster is living to go ahead and get revenge. Living to go ahead and, and show your gangster. Oh, you got I, me I'm, now, but I'm, I'm going to get I, you I, later. I'm just, trying to like, I'm just trying to be like, you know what I'm saying? What's gangster is admitting that you took an L, but now you about to play another card. But if you crap out and crash out. It's over. When you don't have the leverage in that deck, you lost that battle. How you gonna win the war if you're trying to be gangster? You can't be tough in every situation I, I get that. when you I have. Get it. You cannot be tough in every situation when you have no leverage. I, I, I get it. I absolutely agree with you. I get it. I just want to play devil's advocate for one point. That's fair. Cause I, number one, y'all don't even fuck with jewelry like that. I don't wear watches. I'm not even that type of nigga. Mm-hmm. Nigga, you are. Why are you wearing a shirt? No, one hundred percent. You gonna steal my tribe Car quest shirt? You can have that. Imagine. Stuff, you know what I mean? Like, I would hate to see. I'm like, you want my tribe called list. Quest shirt, nigga? Like, stop it. Like, are you serious? Hey, Damon, Damon here with Jay Willard. You said, but all right. I would hate nigga, that. Just all titties. Like, it's nothing. All I'm saying is, I would feel so bad for me if I saw Dane walk nigga, home shirt. Like, you gonna steal my shirt? Like, I'd be pissed because I ain't got no money. So, that's just, so no, I ain't got no money. So you, all I got is the shirt. Well, go ahead, go ahead. So, but but I do understand. I, a tribe called Chest. <laughs> <laughs> Tribe called Breast. I'm fucking with it. Fuck it with it. Fuck it with it. Fuck it with it. I'm fucking with it. Nope, that's funny. Um, but I just want to give you a scenario. That's hilarious. Let me give you a scenario that happened. Uh, yeah, well, it did happen to me. But I'm saying I'm, I'm from Chicago, and you know we all know Chicago is a tough place. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. Insane shit. With in we gotta talk about Chicago. You know what I'm saying? But um, at the end of the day. It's kind of like when you see the, the the bitch ass nigga roll up on you and you know this nigga, and it's like word, you, you nigga, you <laughs> you nigga, not you. You gonna give me, you on my chain, bitch. But you got beat word. up. You got beat up every step you, of nigga, the way. You nigga, know you yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that that's what happened, but I'm just giving you a devil's advocate scenario. If Justin rolled up on us, <laughs> don't say no names for real. That's our friend. But I get it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Continue. Yo, Just. I love gotta, Justin. Like you got to slap this nigga. Slap this you got to slap this nigga. Okay. He violated. That's violated. That just, violated. That just, that just wait, not wait. Justin. Oh, he violated. Oh, he violated. Oh, you got to slap him with the artwork you make. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh, wow. Because now that went further. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you wasn't ready for that. Yeah, you wasn't ready for that. Was that a, a double entendre, nigga? It Smack was. you with this. Boss. Now, but imagine if that nigga rolled up like that. <laughs> 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 nigga, you like, yo, 
give me your jewels. You'll but be I, like, seriously. I, 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 I will say that. I will and, say this. And my I, bad. No offense. No, and honestly, I'm not. I'm, I, I'm, I, I, wait, I get the like, analogy. But though. I will have I to say, it. I'm not trying to talk shit about Jesse, yo. Just come on, man. Y'all know that's my guy. Stop the point. Continue. Go ahead. My point is, is if it's that person that you like, you, you dog. Not you. Not you. You, it's like, get the fuck you out of You on my chain? Man. Y'all beat your ass right now, nigga. The fuck is you? Like, I, I, I will say this. I will say it's this. It's that energy. I, I, I will say this. I'm not saying I have that energy, but I'm saying I get that energy. I will say. If that was the energy. I, under, I understand what you brought forth. I get that point, but this was not that. Okay, fair um, enough. P&B, I'm just a... Bro, P&B is from Philly, bro. Hmm? He's in L.A. He moved to L.A. Um, he got he got uh, um, robbed two times before this. And one time it was because Shorty posted the location, so it's not like Isn't that it happened before. Time? Yes, it happened twice. I'm he, with you. He got another robbed. time. Like, like I said, I did my research for So can we talk? Can we talk? Cool. So just hear me out. He got robbed two oh, times. Black was right. He got robbed two times before this one, which was fatal. Right, so this is the third time he got robbed. Right, so he's right? just fucking with simps. He's literally getting lined up. Like no, he's but, meeting but, the wrong. But, but, like, it, but does, can we speak about it? What happens is, yeah, it's the, the 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 first time he got robbed because you just a west, uh, you a east coast nigga on the west. You just don't understand. And you just got robbed. You, you, you don't know the politics. You don't know nothing. We robbed you. Was it the same? Caught you lacking. The second time, Shorty posted the location and niggas pulled up. Same woman. He took her phone and deleted Instagram, like logged her off. Like, yo, you're not going to post my location no more. We leave. What happened was we don't. he gave Shorty back her phone and let her not even like I, I don't like the way I don't like the terminology. Let her. OK, like she she logged back onto her Instagram. Yeah. And I guess one of the first things she did was post that she was back out with her nigga. Wow. And then her nigga ends up dead. So if we're dealing with cloud chases, then say that. Because if 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 this young lady is just somebody she who wants to show so other women, because honestly, that's all it is. Women don't post for niggas. They post for other women. Yeah. I, I'm here with this guy. You want him. You in his DMs. Mm-hmm. But I'm here with him. Yeah. And this is where we at. Right. See, I oh. didn't, I didn't, I, that, that, that is something I didn't know. Cause I didn't know that either. Here's what's, here's what's crazy. Um, I, me and my me and my my business partner, we were out with one of our mentors, and we was at a, we was bowling. You feel me? We just finished an event. We was bowling, at Atlantic Station, and I fuck with Atlantic Station. It was um, it was it was it was us, some regular young niggas. You know what I'm saying? Aspiring money makers. It was my mentor. He had some other millionaire niggas with him. We were on the business side of shit, right? Okay. About mm-hmm. five of them. About five of us. We technically it's ten of us, ten, twelve of us. We deep ish, right? Yeah. My man started recording us because we bold, we competitive, we talking shit to each other. He started recording him and recording me because mm-hmm. he's winning. Mm-hmm. And right when he's done recording, my mentor looked at him and said, "He said, hey, don't post that, right? Yeah. He's like, post that when you leave." And in the moment, we didn't even have to question it. We was like, "Oh shit, yeah, yo, bro, save that." Cause you're never and gonna. Anything we you're not did. Gonna get my drop. Anything we did, we recorded it, and then when he finally posted it, I saw how much time it was. That's when everybody actually was already at the crib. You feel mm-hmm. me? So I was like, "Yo, like, um, he understands, like, yo, bro, we get ourselves caught up just trying to be seen. Cause the only reason why we post is to be seen. We're, Facts. We're not posting." To, oh, now nah, I just post for me. If you just post it for you, you would take the picture and keep it in your photo album. Yes. You would take the video and just keep it in your photo sure, album. Sure, sure. Put it on yeah. your, social media. Your nudes that you take, those are for you. Yeah. Because you don't post those. Until you yeah. send them. Until you send them. Because yeah, you want to be seen by who you send them yeah, to. Yeah, all facts. We've all, all done that. All done that. that it is, is what it is. You we want to be seen, but yeah. you don't understand that the <laughs> attention that you're drawn to yourself. And, like, and that's a big thing, bro. You got to... You got, he has to embed that into Shorty, and Shorty's she run around with a level of naive. Clout chasing. But was this the same girl? I don't yes, know. Yes, it's the same woman. Is it is it clout chasing or is she just really naive? No, it's clout chasing, and I'm gonna tell you why it's clout chasing. Everybody, but it could be naive. No, 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 no. I'm gonna tell you why it's not. I'm gonna tell you why it's not. Because it happened um, twice. No, 
that that that, that that's one. You're right. That's but, not, but wait, let me just go. Let okay, me just go. Okay, no, okay, I got you. Social media is not a new toy, right? Um, if we was back in the 2007 days, 2008 days when shit was popping for real, like remember, you remember MySpace when we had the top eight? Of course. And then it turned into. It was Skonex in New York, and then it went to Facebook. Facebook hit for real. Then it was all these social media platforms. The, the that college really pro- Facebook. You feel me? Like we was, had to be in college to so be on many, Facebook. There were so many Facebook. different social media platforms you know that. that hit. I, I do remember that. No, you do. I, I looked at I him because I know you remember. I watched the movie, bro. <laughs> but what, what I'm saying is, what, what I'm saying is, social media is growing with us. Yeah. So to say that someone knows or doesn't know, I can't, I can't, I can't wholeheartedly say that but at the same time I can I know that was a, 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 a double negative but what I'll say is Shorty knew and knows I'm gonna post this and it's gonna get a certain reaction yeah because we're just at that stage of social media we want, we want them likes it's man. the gratification it's the 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 comments it's the oh what is she doing oh right. I know what you're doing oh you was he there checking his he comments there. right now I'm like it's, I'm joking, I'm joking. I don't know. It's, it's, <laughs> but what I'm saying is that's accepted because that's the level of social media that we're at now. It, it grew into this. So now a post can literally... Excuse you know, me. You, yo, we, you we can, saw what happened with Pop, bro. You can you can. Pop's die. family member posted, yo, we here. Ah, Airbnb is lit, whatever the case may be. Niggas took that video and killed that nigga. So, so, you feel me? Like, it's... it's, it's that's where we're at with it. So, so, so I can't say that it's naive. It's not naive. You're not naive no more. You can't make a fatal... Like, if you make you a know fatal, what the fuck is going on. If you make a fatal mistake twice, then you're... That's... It's purposeful. You... you well, no, I'm not going to say purposeful. So I'm not saying that she, say she didn't do it on purpose, but... It's negligent. You're, you're negligent. And yes. even, if you're ne- even with negligence, it still falls under fault. I, I have a question me? for you. If I'm negligent... With how I take care of my children, and my child ends up killing himself over drinking bleach or whatever, whatever, yeah, or, yeah. or shooting mm-hmm. himself, whatever. That, whatever. We, we've seen that. Yes, we I have. leave the gun off safe with no safety on on the kitchen Your table. Child grabs the gun. And the child grabs the gun and, and it's clipped. It. I'm being negligent. Yes, you feel me? Of course. Especially if you held the reliable. It's happened before, yeah. and he didn't kill himself, but he almost did. Yeah. I'm being negligent on my part as a parent. I'm Absolutely. Not being responsible. So, so, all right. I kind of want to switch it just a little bit, if that's okay. More than their situation, because to be honest, we don't really know their situation. And I, well, I, we know. I, I no, we, we don't. Mm-hmm. We just know what we heard. Now, I, I asked you to look at the IG because I wanted you to, 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 for the list. My bad. Can you read it off to you? Yeah. So, so what happened was, P and B Rock died two days ago, but over the past three years, we've lost. We Juice lost. World. We lost everybody. Hold Juice on. World, but but wait, but 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 there was a list. Then that's why I said. Who's reading it? No, no. But uh, I just want to introduce. Okay. That's all. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thanks, guys. Goddamn. The red carpet rollout. <laughs> no, I just wanted to okay. say. I thought I jumped in at the right time. Uh, me too. You, I, no, I you did, but we, then but I just. The... I just wanted to say mm-hmm. that over the past three years, we lost a significant amount of people, and. And it's wild to see it in a list because I had never really seen it listed. And then people were still adding to it once I posted that. Niggas was like, well, then, and, and, and. And I was like, what the All fuck? Right, so let's, let's, let's but take here's the list, list of let's the last three list. years of young, new rappers who we lost. Juice World, Nipsey Hussle, Pop Smoke, FBG Duck, Mo3, King Vaughn, Young Dolph, Dirk Yo the Ruler, Low Loaded, E-Day, Trouble, Trouble. FBG Cash, JD Youngin, Low Key, PMB Rock. Somebody said, I think it was 40 Cal. I don't know the names. Uh, it'd, be, it'd be some people I don't know their names. 40, 60, something. Um, but at the end of the day, the reason why it bothered me is because what I wanted to ask you guys to take it to another do you think there's a conspiracy? For the new young rappers, like because all of the, it seems like all of the new young rappers of a certain type all die. Them, 
Am I tripping? I, okay, so I, 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 I'm a certain type because once you throw Nipsey Hustle in there, he's he's not probably like the only one that's I, a little I, different. I want to I want to say PNB this. Rock is not like the niggas either. Pop I, Smoke is not like he's the other one. I, and I, I'll I, give I, you Pop Smoke. I please. would like to say. I would like to say this. Talk um, to me. I'm real big on energy. Yeah. Right. Your energy is your essence. Your, your essence is you. This yeah. is this is the true you. What happens is, I'm big on if you put negativity out into the world, you get back negativity. Um, I don't know all these artists work word for word, but yeah. I do know a lot of the artists that was just named. Right. And their contribution to the world is negative music. It's negative connotation music. So what happens is, if you put that bang, bang, shoot them up, kill, kill music out there, do I condone that it happens to you? No. But do I understand if it does? Yes. And I'm, I'm very big on negative, and like the energy has to match. And I'm an artist, bro. I've been, I've been doing music my whole life, bro. I've seen the worst of the worst shit happen in front of my face, bro. I've seen, I've seen the craziest shit happen. But my music doesn't project that because I know whatever I project as me, a black young male with two kids, I'm trying to maneuver through this space. I understand that whatever I put out is going to come back to me. And I can fuck around and be at Roscoe Chicken and Waffles and lose my whole fucking life. Yep. If I'm doing negative shit and putting out negative shit, I can understand why that happens. And it pisses me off because the, the, the industry feeds on this right here. Like, this is the money maker. So because we know that we can monetize that, we want the negativity and we want the, the blacks killing blacks and we, we want the young kids throwing their futures away. We want that shit. So we recruit the artists that are promoting that shit and then when they die, we take a fucking a, a life insurance policy out on them and we make say, more money both ways. Bro, I, this shit is nuts. So, I, was, I was just about to say they got life insurances. I just yeah. want to say that. It's they, fucking so, nuts. They got life so insurance on all the rappers, bro. So this shit is have, deeper than what we're talking about I right now. What I want to say is though, um, I'm going to say one thing and then I want to push the conversation is I agree with what you're saying. R&B artists got the same money, in my opinion. I think that there's a lot of R&B artists who have rapper money. You feel me? They're doing mm -hmm. the same kind of shows, the same amount of shows. Okay. Let's just say they're not getting into the same situations because the music that they're pushing. The energy is not the same. It's not the energy. is not the same. Mm -hmm. um, pop artists, they have the same kind of money. Country artists, they fucking have, Bad Bunny is the biggest artist in the world. Bad bro. Bunny is the money. absolute biggest right now. So twenty six years old. So yeah, the, now Bad Bunny is so, the absolute biggest. So all I'm saying is, there's, there's <laughs> a lot of there's a lot of music. There's a lot of music genres. Yeah, and there's a lot of artists in each genre. You feel me? But there's not many other, or even close, to even a quarter of altercations in other genres of music. Agreed. And I think it has to do with the aggressive nature of our music. And then you can go and say, yeah, boom, some, some lyrics are entertainment. But then for a lot of people, lyric, some lyrics are the picture that they're painting of their past. Mm -hmm. One thing I do want to say is I don't see the J. Coles. I don't see the Russ. I don't yeah, Russ. Russ is. Yeah, well, I don't see the Russ. Well, he's super independent. I get at the I Russ. But I, but I hear what you're saying. It's the mind state. No, no, I, get, I hear what you're saying. My bad. He's right. super, super independent, though. Hey, like, but right? Nipsey was super independent. Yeah, but we didn't see it till the nigga died, to be honest. Dolph was super independent. And we knew we that didn't see it till he died. But you didn't see it till no, he no, died. No, no, but you was here. No, no, that, that's, that's a valid, no, that's, no, that's a valid being point. Me here means nothing. No, that, that's a valid point, bro. You, bro. you just didn't see it. It wasn't on your radar, but it, no, it was I, happening. No, I had heard of Dolph. It wasn't on your radio. But bro. no, radar. fuck that. You play the radio, Dolph wasn't on the radio. Like I'm telling you, I didn't bro, say radio, basic. I said radio. Shit. He played the radio, NBA Youngboy wasn't on the radio. But we thought he was independent the whole time. He's the biggest 22 year old and on he earth. Was signed the whole time. <laughs> like, but but long story short, it doesn't really like that's semantics of yeah, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. All I'm saying is 
this situation is sad overall. There's a lot of pointers of it. Yeah. But as a man, I'm not going to blame Shorty. I can't blame Shorty. Here's why I'm not going to fully blame Shorty, right? I agree. If, if the woman I'm with does something stupid or does something I don't really fuck with, in every situation, I try to see, yo, where could I have done better? Where, what? Because because it's, 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 it's real easy to blame everybody else for what for the end result. For every end result, it's easy to blame everybody else. But I feel like in every situation that I've been in, where the negative has really happened to me, I had the power to change something. And I literally made the, the, the choice to not do it. In this situation, they came for his jewelry. They didn't come for his life. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. They came for his money. They didn't come for his life. I mean, we don't know that. Well, we, don't we, know. We, we don't know that. We would hope. We, 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 right, we would hope. So yeah, I was we, we don't know that. The speculation is that they came for his ice. They came to rob the nigga. So, but here's the thing. Let's say they let's say they came for the money. Let's say they came for his life, and they descri- they, they described it as a robbery. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people around. There's yeah. a lot of witnesses. There's a lot of witnesses. I believe that they came for the money in the ice, bro. You got a, you, you got a, you got a thick ass Cuban rope around your neck. You got ice got on each AP wrist. On. You that, got an AP on. That Listen, part is tough, I man. want, I want what you got on. I'm gonna go sell it. I'm gonna rock that bitch. That, I'm, I'm and, hungry. And I'm, here's, and I'm, here's where, here's where niggas need to really like understand, yo, bro. If someone has the drop on you, take the L. There's nothing wrong with taking the L. There's niggas who take the L and talk shit while they taking the L. That's a tough pill to there's, swallow for everybody. I, 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 here's, 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 you want to know why it's a tough pill to swallow for everybody? Because no one wants Pride. to. Pride. No, exact. No one wants Pride. to look like the little nigga. But then again, you have, you have short sightedness. Like, your vision, you have no vision. If you have a, if you, if, if we get on some, some lifestyle manifestation, entrepreneur, whatever type of shit, if you have vision for your life of where you want to end up, the little shit that happens in a way don't really this matter because you know you're going to end going, up. Yeah, this is why so, but boom, do it. even if you want to get in a situation like, yo, boom, here, you can have this. I see your face, nigga, here. I'm not going to say it, but, oh, you want my, cool. You got yeah, it. you got this. Here, this is yours. Here, this is yours. You want, here, all this is yours. You can have it. I'm going to, I just need to, you didn't kill me. Now, you know, if I'm still alive, I'm going to come see you. You, If you don't know it, I'm going to make you know it. But at the end of the day, I have the opportunity to redeem myself. I'm or I have the opportunity to be like, yo, I just lost 100K in jewelry. Let me go do a show. Make 100K. Let me go do a feature. Let me make my bag back. Let me go sell I, something that I have, a property, I, an I, NFT, a going, crypto, I, uh pull money from asset. the multiple businesses. Let me go touch this royalty check that I haven't touched mm-hmm. from the song that I did back in to 2018 replace to, replace, to that. replace this that I have. Okay, okay. But I, I just want to say real quick. What do you want to say, Dan? Uh, hi. Um, um, I, I want to... My, <laughs> my name is... My name is... Dickhead. Uh, no, no, no. I just... I, my bad. Because I'm looking at it from two stances. Um, there was this whole thing on the media where... Remember when Kim Kardashian had got robbed from, from in Paris? In Paris, and it was she, the whole she, thing. She was put in a bathtub. And, no, no, and, whatever. And then yeah. Kanye was like, "That's that my wife. Who cares? Yeah, I don't I give a fuck that. how we feel about everybody. That's still his wife. His wife got robbed. Yes. Straight up, that's important. I don't give a fuck how we care about yes, anybody. I remember that. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. And they had an interview with the nigga who robbed Kim Kardashian. I didn't know that. <laughs> They had that? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know, know that. this? That's nuts. I didn't know that Yeah, part. yeah, yeah. So the nigga who robbed her. Who the fuck is this guy? I love him because he's a nigga like us. Oh, for real? He no. He like me. No, but he, no, no. I, wait, I might have robbed him for everything. No, no, wait, wait. No, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not saying that we, I'm not saying that we would rob niggas, but I'm saying he's a nigga. Like, he's the type of nigga we could put on the show and just talk shit like a regular nigga. Mm. Go ahead, though. Right? So they asked him. He was like, why you do it? He was like, well, shit. Cause the bitch rich, nigga. Like she got it. We out here struggling. I'm trying to do it all. All her shit is sure anyway. So what the fuck? Like, hell yeah, I'm gonna take her shit. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, mean. And I, I was kind of like, I can't disagree with you, but I am. 
Cause no, I no, no. I can't disagree with you, nigga. <laughs> but he was just like, now nah, fuck that. She got it. I don't. You can't disagree with her? No, but... Nigga, you I, got me fucked what up. What I'm trying to say is... If you really... If we if we want to go and dig into deeper of why people rob, right? I don't know if y'all want to do that. I don't know if we want to get into that. Nigga, people rob because they don't have. People rob out of they're Indian hungry. Just, 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 they're, they're, I mean, it's, it's a lot. People they're, rob, they're, they're, but people that's what I'm saying. It's deeper than what we, you know. People rob. People. It's rob, deeper than just oh, your listen, jewels no, is pretty. People rob because they can. No, but what? Wait, wait, no, no, wait, no, 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 no wait, 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 wait. Of, Wait, wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Come on, bro. Wait, wait. Rich uh, people don't rob. I, I, I understand what you're saying. Huh? Wait, relax. A, I'm, I'm, I, I understand what you're saying, right? There's a lot of socioeconomic factors to the, to be the reason why you do uh, crime. Yeah. Right? I get it. Um, we're not all part of the 1%. So if you want to make a quick flip or a quick come up, you'll rob somebody who has... So you could take what they have to sell what they have to make so money make that you don't. Come like, up. I you, get that part. Yeah. So I get it. So I get it. Right. But the if, fact that he wasn't remorseful, that was the thing. It yeah, was an interview. That, that and my nigga, and, and, and I love and, and I don't want to say I love it. I just under fuck him. He's wrong. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, the nigga in me was like, I can see that. <laughs> like that's it. Just that one piece of me was like, he was like, the bitch, the shit is short anyway. The, 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 what the, the fuck? The like, the, I was like, The ah. reason why I can see that is the same reason why people steal from Walmart. People steal from Target. It's like, yeah, you're like, you're a multi-trillion dollar company. Y'all gonna be fine. I could take this fucking zucchini. Nigga. And I'm, I'm gonna hey, make, I'm gonna make it. Let me get no, these bananas and people, these avocados yeah, and these people eggs, change bitch. the prices be, and shit. I, 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 the I, fuck? I, I, I get it. I get fuck. it. And fuck. That, and that was his attitude. But it's just the fact that it was Kim Kardashian. And he was like, well, yeah, because she could replace this shit, nigga. Like, I, pfft, and man, you, I you know, know you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? We could talk about that, but we could talk about integrity at the same time. Like, okay, okay. Like, bro, you gotta understand That's a good point. just because Great I point. can replace it right now. All right, I know my bank account. Someone stole my phone, I could replace it. Yeah. Someone course. stole, I know what everything on me cost. Right. Big bags. This is, nah, facts. You feel me? <laughs> big bags. Heavy on the bags. <laughs> probably, big drip. Man, I'm in love with a lip bitch. Hey, hey, hey. This outfit is less than like $600. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, look at it. But anyway, him. like every... You got a watch. Which is Apple watch. And okay. a bracelet. Yeah, you feel me? This is my thousand dollar outfit. She got a watch. This is nothing. You got a watch, a bracelet, a necklace, and two earrings. Big bags. All at the same time. Big bags. You see? Big bags. What you talking about? Thirteen hundred. Fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is this is, but that's still, that's no money. Yo, don't go let's to say, Waffle House and post your location, nigga. That's listen, listen, listen. Don't go to Waffle House. Let's say thirteen hundred, right? Uh, if someone came and a nigga need thirteen hundred dollars for his rent, someone came and wanted to steal steal everything on my body. Yeah. And but they know that Lamar can replace it. I heard Lamar just got a check for thirty thousand. Yeah, of Some shit course. that he did when his businesses or whatever. Lamar, Nigga, you, you got a check for thirty thousand. Lamar, you could replace it. I drive the car. Focus, focus, focus. <laughs> My bad. Lamar, you could replace <laughs> it, but it's like, yo, bro, it's mine. Yeah. It doesn't matter if I can replace it or not. That's true. It's yours. I bought it the you, first time. It's mine. It's my shit. It's like, yo, you shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. This belongs to me. This is why. Yeah. I can replace it. I've worked to be able to do that. So we Talk can we can, we can say that we understand, but bro, at the end of the day, yeah. that's being complicit to negative. To negative negative behavior, niggas who have that same energy and bravery to go ahead and do some reckless shit, right. bro. You could go ahead and put that energy somewhere else. Now we can act like there's not opportunities. Get an LLC, nigga. Your bum <laughs> ass. All this energy you got to rob a nigga, no, no, go no, build a business, yeah, your yeah, bum yeah. ass. Put Here's that same crazy. put that same energy. I'll in the, rob a nigga. Dot com. <laughs> put that shit in the if, business if plan, you, nigga. If you really what like, you if you really break it down, bro. Imagine a business of robbing niggas. That's only what white people do. Look, that's only America. Look, bro, look, look. Let's if you not really, if you get really, to it. If you that's really, taxes. My bad. Go ahead. I'm sorry. If you really understood, bro, there's a lot of hood niggas who were scammers or drug dealers. Facts. Who make the best business owners? Facts. Because them niggas understand how to run a business from 50 scratch. Cent. 
them niggas understand the Jay-Z. work. Them niggas understand the work ethic that comes behind it. Them niggas understand, like they they they're running businesses regardless, but they understand what's necessary. But yeah. other niggas rather the quicker, easy way. That's way, bro. We can talk about this shit all day. Oh, oh. But what that, I what I want to get into though. Wait, uh, uh, go ahead, yeah, go ahead. I just wanted to speak. After to that. you speak on that, I'm a, I got I got another thing. Can I you remember? To do. Cause I just want to speak to the point you just made. You don't forget. God damn it. Don't don't forget. Don't forget. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Because I just want to speak to the point you made. What happened is niggas didn't know that that was going to happen. Motherfuckers became accidental millionaires because they didn't know. Huh? Who you talking about? Damn it. All the niggas who was selling crack and and decided to take that money and and build businesses, they didn't know that that would happen. Who you talking about? Any, no, to, to, be, to be honest, that, anybody that sold well, crack who made it out of selling crack, bro, they own car dealerships. This motherfuckers own jewelry stores. Like, they, like yeah, what yeah, happens? They flipped their shit. Oh, wait, we wait, all, what do you, we, we what all. Do you mean we, they didn't know that was gonna happen? What, what I, mean? what I'm saying to you is, niggas didn't know that was gonna happen. What do you, what do you mean though? Like, how, I, 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 can I clarify? I, I, can I clarify? The niggas who was. I want you. Cool. I want to keep going. Go ahead. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss it back to you. Pause. I just want to clarify for that statement. That's not even a boss. What happens is the nick, the local drug dealer, who was just the local crack dealer for Crown Heights, he said, "You know what? I sell drugs, but I also like music. Let me open up a music shop where people could just buy music from me." Duh. And they didn't know that that shit was gonna turn into fucking labels and motherfucking and, and like Ir- Irv Gotti and they, motherfucking they, niggas did not know that, bro. They, at all, my nigga. L, L, you looking at me like I'm uh, crazy? What, so what, I'm, what I'm telling you? Niggas wait, didn't wait, know that. Wait, 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 wait. Am I allowed to rebuttal? You, you can't. But what I'm saying is, hip hop started because let's be honest, hip hop started in the Bronx. Um, it was a massive blackout. Black Come people started now. looting the streets. They stole, and they stole equipment. Everything. What I'm saying is the people who stole the equipment did not know that 50 years from now, we'll have the number one genre in music. Had no we didn't know that. Idea, the the foresight wasn't there. So what I'm saying it. is the yeah, person who's selling drugs is like, you know what? I just want to get my money out of this and let, I me, just want- let me open up a laundromat. He didn't know that he's going to open up fucking the biggest laundromat in the world. That, well, no, the, I'm telling you. Straight it, up. It shit happens. That's it. Okay. So now you so, you the yeah. laundromat nigga who's worth a billy and it's like, that's it's crazy. It's like, oh shit, I never knew that. I never knew that shit. I was just selling. I didn't know, I didn't know it was possible. I, I started with weed. This, that's this, it. This, <laughs> you know what I'm this saying? Hand, this hand means something. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shut up. You got um, it. So, but when you leave, <laughs> we be talking. Go 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 of turning one situation into another, whether it's a negative into a positive, whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. Jay Z did not think he was gonna be a billionaire, but nah. Jay Z knew for a fact that he was gonna take his. He's on to some shit. That his. I got his, something. He's gonna take his dirty money, clean and man. talent, and make it clean, lucrative business. Agreed. Fifty Cent went from owning whatever part of Jamaica Queens. <laughs> owning, okay? Tony A, you make that nigga sound like a criminal. Well, listen, 50 Cent went from owning whatever part of Jamaica Queens to when he started rapping, he said, yo, I have something. I know that with this vehicle, I can have... A, yo, bro, no, I don't think many people outside of fucking maybe Elon Musk knew that their success was going to go that far, but they knew what direction they wanted to go in. We never know how far we're going to go for real. But, but you we know, know where what you want to go. We go in. Understand So that. we can talk about the destination and how far, how many miles. We can measure that. We can talk about that. Niggas don't really, really know for real. Y'all niggas didn't know that Willow Wizard was going to be a seven-year brand. I don't, I, I don't feel like you... I, when, we, when we was talking about doing this shit, we didn't say in 2022 we would be sitting in this wonderful, illustrious studio. Playhouse Studios. Playhouse. Playhouse Studios. In this setting, <laughs> I didn't see this. Got to do the marketing. I didn't see this. I get it. 
it, do, do, the vision can I, can I, the can vision I, never is not always that elaborate, can, but the direction definitely is. So here's what I'm saying to you. Yeah, sometimes we're, we're, we're talking about niggas taking their negative and turning it into a positive. Yeah. Sometimes niggas just need to understand, yo, going into a particular direction, whichever direction you decide to go into, you're going to end up magnifying it. Wherever you, what, um, I have someone, someone taught me something where it said, um, where your attention goes or where your energy grow, goes, that's what grows. You feel me? Wherever you place your energy, that's going to amplify. You place your energy in the negativity, that's what's going to amplify. You play mm-hmm. your, place your, neg- your energy into learning how to be the best MC, best artist. Let me, best... Let me... Go ahead, Dan. I just want to say I agree with you there. And I want to give you what something that one of my ex-girlfriends said. And you ex. Okay. I got a lot of exes. He went from a mentor. You said your ex. That's nuts to me. No, that, no, no. But that it, whole it, No, no, no. But it was. I think mine's more credible. Me too. Nah, but it was the ex that changed. He said, Warren Buffett told me. You said, listen, Sasha yeah. from 13th Street. Yeah, said, nah, fuck that. <laughs> With the mean top. Because when we come through important, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, go ahead, We've go ahead. all fucked that chick that is the most important pussy you've ever had. Like. And I, I know what I'm saying. Important pussy. Not, just, okay. not go pussy, not go good. Ahead, not go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go the ahead. most that you'd be like. I love what Dan get ratchet. I love it. What you said. That shit changed my fucking life. And we've all had that pussy. Like, I'm not. We've all had that. We've all had that. I don't give a fuck who in the, We've all had that. Mm-hmm. You've had the most important pussy that changed your life. Mm-hmm. Period. I don't give a fuck. It's a fact. Mm-hmm. We've all been like. Okay. I do need to go to church. Mm-hmm. Like you, like whatever it is. Mm-hmm. You fuck it. I, berries? I need to eat berries? Be- Antioxidants. Fuck, fuck it. Now I'm eating berries. God damn it. Like mm-hmm. the, the, the most important pussy you ever had in your life. Understood. Most important pussy I ever had in my life. Damn it. I just lost it. I, yeah, I was you, dead. You, yeah, I went yeah, off. I, I went off. And I just lost about? it. And he can't repeat. Can you repeat your point? Mm-hmm. In closing. <laughs> you can't beat your friend, no, you motherfucker. No, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. No, I just was making... It's all right. It's going to come back to you. Give it a second. So, I just want to like... I, I, Damn it. We're going to just say one thing, and then when it comes back, it comes back, okay? Yeah, yeah, I got you. All right. What... What are, what are two things... What are, what are two things that you think could have been done to avoid the situation? And what's one thing that you want people to... To learn going forward, two, I'm gonna start. Two things that could have avoided it, and one thing that people uh, need to okay, learn so going forward. Okay, so the first thing that can avoid it, we scream and shout and yell from the mountaintops when white people kill us, but when when black people kill each other, we don't fucking talk about the shit. So the first thing that can be done to avoid it is we need to value our lives more. Like we 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 need to take stock in our lives more. We need to stop killing each other more we need to do more within our own community we need to heal more we need to do more within us because what happens is all it is is just jealousy we see somebody who has and we don't have and then we want what they have so we go ahead and try and take it and now somebody ends up dead so if you're asking me what can we do we can do more of the healing on our own side but um I, wait, 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 Dane, let me, let me just go, right? And it, it bothers me because when it comes down to accountability on the black side, we always blame every single fucking situation that's ever happened to us. We blame slavery for hundreds of years. We, we blame the, the fucking segregation. Then we blame Jim Crow. Then we blame mass incarceration. Then we blame fucking the, the, the bringing of the guns and the drugs into our neighborhoods. We blame... All this shit, and yes, it's factual. Yes, we can we can pinpoint when shit certain shit happened, but what happens is we never look at us and say, if we don't kill us, none of this matters. And that's the point that fucking bothers me. That guy or that lady, I don't know who the fuck did it. I don't know the person's name, but that person that woke up and decided to go to that Roscoe Chicken and Waffles and decided to kill that artist. He made that choice. She made that choice. No one else made that choice for them. If you valued black life, if you was really on that side of 
bigging up your own race, creed, sex, culture, whatever it is, you would know not to take that life. But what happens is we look at each other as expendable. We live in this video game shit, bro. You play, you play GTA, you play Call of Duty, you kill somebody, they respawn, and it's another life. And we think, like, I, I feel like we, we, we act like that's real life. So, so, so then what responsibility do we have? All of it. Hold on. To sure. the music that we put out. I was going to mention this earlier. 21 Savage had, had said some shit about, oh my God, everybody in Atlanta is dying from guns. And it's like, bro, you you the most gun shooting, toting ass nigga ever. Every lyric is like, ah, shoot a nigga with a motherfucker. Work. 20, so the 21 Savage. Rooting this, tooting this. <laughs> That's funny. So 21 Savage is like, hey, everybody, put the, put the guns down. But coming up next, 21 Savage single, shoot every nigga. How the fuck? So, 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 and he's like, oh, 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 that's art. But is it? So. How you feel about that? So, so, let me just relate it back to this whole concept. So, all them niggas that died, right? You had the list earlier. All of them was gun-toting rappers. And the reason I say that is, Talib Kweli ain't on that list. I'm just mentioning him just to be a dick. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Common ain't on that. We get it. Lupe Fiat. I mean, Black Thought. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just being corny. I'm just being corny. Q-tip, five. <laughs> 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 right here, right here, nigga. Right here, nigga. But that's my point. No, all them niggas is shot. No, 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 no. You got the shot shirt. Fuck my shirt. <laughs> you got These the shot shirt. Kill people. These niggas kill people on my shirt. You got all the right. shot shirt. Right. Yeah. But all my, my point is, is that everybody at some point, bro, for real, they are talking about guns mm-hmm. and gun energy and death and that all these niggas died, including Pac. Yeah. Pac was one of the first niggas to talk about death and shooting and I'm going to die and if I die by my unborn yeah. seed because I'm going to be dead. It's like, what well, nigga, you going... And he died. He died. And everybody it's else... On, on, and, and, and on that same list of all them niggas, for the most part, we could just say 80, 85%, right? Maybe P&B Rock was a good hook singer or whatever, you know? But for the most part, everybody on that list of dead niggas talk Dead nigga energy. Everybody. Pop smoke. Do you understand what pop the the, the words? Pop you gonna pop off nigga? I want smoke, nigga. Like what I get it. Y'all don't see that, nigga? Be, you kill me, or I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna pop smoke, nigga. Oh, you pop what's up? I want nigga like you your your energy is wrong. Fuck if you can make a girl song, that's what's up. But bro, you legit. Your energy is bad. All you doing is shooting people, killing people. So when you get killed, it's like, ah. Ain't nobody shooting common. <laughs> so so a couple things I want to just go ahead and say without interruption. Um, number one, <clears throat> our culture is full of double entendres that um, contradict each other. Yeah, of course. You feel me? Um, of course. It is by design of us, but not we we didn't control it the way we should have. You feel me? Where we we know that the the gangsters and the drug dealers are bad, but we idolize them. We enjoy movies, we enjoy and I'm not just talking about the hood. I love me a good Scarface. I love narcos. I love, I love, um, what's the Chicago gangster from the 20s? Al Capone. Al Capone. I love Al Capone. Uh, The Um, movie. I know the the movie. I love. You talking about. Sopranos. You got all the mobs. The movie. I love all the mobs. The Goodfellas. I love the mob documentaries. Watch Goodfellas about three weeks ago. Yeah. As a culture, 
but then not only as a culture, as humans. Hell, Shatters. I'll bring it up. Shatters. Fuck y'all. Yeah. I finally love, saw that movie. It was love great. Love Belly. As, uh, as humans, we enjoy the villain who has hero, hero tendencies. Yeah. But is still a villain. Yeah. As a culture, we exalt that to another level to where our people feel like, yo, that that's what we have to be. So can I? No, you can't. No? Okay. You can't. Go for it. Chill, chill, chill. So with the guys. go for it. It's 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 a double entendre, bro. It's like yo, you know, you wanna you wanna be a rapper, but what sells in rap? Some things that sell in rap is a you know certain aggressive music, but then you can't be you know what I'm saying. Drake and J Cole's not doing that, but those three, the three headed monster, Kendrick, J Cole, Drake, and Drake, Drake. yeah. Are when you when you when you talk about top ten rappers of the past five ten years, yeah. you throw those three at the top. Sure. The next seven have some type of criminal background. Whoever you think about, that's a good point. Whoever you think, who? No, you're I right. I don't know. I I can't even go the last ten years. All of them have. Future, you're right. Meek, um. Gucci, um, all the niggas are dead on the list. The Migos, ah, um, money bag yo, yeah. money um, bag yo, everybody on shit. on uh QC, Q on Q, uh, nigga, every, little every, baby, you know, um, I'm trying to say, yeah, little baby, um, so, fuck Roddy Rich, Roddy Rich. So, 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 so all I'm so, saying so, is, so, all all right. I'm, so that's the problem, you guys. Allow me to finish. So, we idolize. You have to get to a certain level of, of not just lyrical ability, but of creative genius and relatab- relatability and inspiration to where you can be beyond just, yo, we love him because he is a gangster rapper who puts words together well. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I think it's a, it's a, it's a glitch in the culture. And that's why that kind of music is propelled. And then when you propel that music, that's what comes with it. But it I do want to, only thing that I'm really concerned with about this situation yeah, is. Talking about, talking about. We're like, talking about so many things that. the It's variables, but it's smaller variables. At the end of the day, yeah, I think that man could have controlled whether he lived or and it all comes back to yeah. the pride that we have as a people. Give your shit up. The pride that we have as a people. You flashing in a hood that you're not from. Yeah. Facts. You don't got a whole bunch of niggas with you. None at all. You don't got no security. Yeah. None at all. You yeah. and your shorties, I don't know Dirk and his shorty shit, but y'all got not that shit all. Yeah. on you at all you're times. You're not carrying nothing. You got that. You don't got that gun on you. You in South you, Central LA. You are in South Central LA. You, you are not moving with the kind of you're lacking. awareness and security. <laughs> no, that's actually lacking. That yeah, he's lacking. That you're supposed to have. Yeah. And this is not yo. They caught you showering like pop smoke. No, 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 no. No, you lacking. There, if we, if you were still here and we asked you, hey, what measure of security did you take to make sure that when you plan to leave your house? That you were gonna make it back. He At would least say, one nigga. He would say none. You would yeah, have said yeah, yeah. none. None. You weren't being inconspicuous. You At all. You weren't trying to just be a regular nigga and join. Forty five chains on. You were. Right. You AP were. On your wrist. You were being. You were. You were, Extra you were looking loud. like food. Yes. And the thing is, you wasn't looking like a. You wasn't defending your shit. In that situation, you have to put. That's your a fact. Pride. He didn't even have a gun either. He couldn't be like, oh shit. Now nah, what you about to do? Bro, Fuck y'all, nigga. You have to. Bro, you have nothing. to put your pride to the side and say, take that. I'm gonna make it to the crib. I gotta and make it home. You got it. And I. I'm not prepared. I, I don't. I, I don't know if we have great points. I do want to just. You know, can we? No, no, you got it, bro. This right here. Yeah. You gotta make it to the crib. You That's feel it. me? The most important thing every day when you leave your crib, no matter who you are. Kid, mom, father, son, brother, whoever you are, gotta make it back home. The shit that you got on is replaceable. 
the shit that you got on, you won't be wearing in five years. Facts. True. No matter how broke you are. True. Facts. Anything you got on, you had on five years ago? No. Y'all don't Any, wear Prada shoes no more. When Any, I moved to New York, couldn't afford them. Anything, <laughs> but I any, just re- I just remember Prada anything shoes. Anything you got on? Did you, wait, wait. Did you listen, have Prada shoes? Anything you got on, were you wearing five years ago? No. Yeah. You had those glasses five years ago? No. No. No, that's fact. Understand that. Everything and they help you him have, see. <laughs> so his sight changed in five years. No real shit. Like, think, think about, bro. I'm on your side, my nigga. I'm on your side. Yo, look. He couldn't see the same five years ago. That's nuts. He's stupid. That's so, fucking so, nuts. Gotta, we, so look, we, we gotta go. Yeah. So all we all we trying to make you understand is that all this material shit is replaceable, but Great. your life is not replaceable. It's not. That's it. Your life is not replaceable that can't at all. Come back. And that pride. Oh shit. J. Cole and 21 said it the best. Pride is the devil. Pride is the devil. Oop. And it I probably got, got a like hold you on that. me. I like it how you picked up a, on it before you. It, it, it probably got a hold on you. Yeah. And you won't know it until it's too late to where you can't grow Yo. from it. Yeah. My bad. I cut you in. God damn it. No, no, no. no, 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 no I just no, slid no, it on no, the no, end. No, and that, he was got, a good, that was a good I, ending. That was a right great there. ending. That, that I just nigga want, had a fucking Jesus. I'm sorry. I, I, I so wasn't look, trying to hey, come uh, in. Wait, so can look, we pass the collection plate? I want to drop nigga. some dollars. <laughs> I want to <laughs> like, drop some money. I want some peer, 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 peer. You been spinning, bro. This is Willow Wednesday. Look, thank y'all for 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 rocking with us. Thank y'all for listening to us. I hope that we gave more than just value on this episode. Let's um, go. I really want y'all to really take this and, you know, in every situation, there's a thousand variables that could change. Mm. And you got to think about what can you do to help this situation because you always shit. have some level of control of your outcome. You feel me? I like it. Yo, y'all stay blessed and beautiful. Let's get I to I love it, man. Yo, press a like, press a share, press a subscribe. Uh, tell a friend to tell a friend. About to slide out of here. Do we see y'all next week, Let's man. Willow Wednesdays. We, we out here, man. Brr, gang, All right, bow. bow. Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate facts, the facts, support. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm-hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Peace.